So the St. Louis Blues are a team that you're obviously close to. Um, and, you know, they kind of seem stuck in the middle a little bit this year in terms of where, what direction to be going. What are your thoughts on how the, the Blues season has unfolded to date? I would say one thing that we've noticed is that we're, we're, we're a team that is situation motivated, and that's not going to be successful at the end. We've got to get mm. back to our own game and motivating our own game we play hard and well against teams that we either fear or respect. And then when it's just another night and you're just playing hockey, we seem to fumble the ball there. So I think regardless of what happens, we've got to get the culture back where we're competing at a high level every night and not based on the situation, whether the coach is mad or we've lost a game that we should have won and that gets our attention. We've got to get our own attention and we've got to really – turn our focus inward. And I think if we do that, you know, we can build a culture that we're back on stream again. But when your situation motivated, it's a hard ball because the coach can't catch it and the players can't keep up to it. And it's really hard to be competitive if you're not consistent. We're talking to Ken Hitchcock, fourth winningest coach in NHL history. Uh, Hitch, uh, you on occasion throughout your coaching career had a few uh, characters to say the least. I'll name uh, Holly. <laughs> I'll name JR. <laughs> I will name Eddie Belfour. Where is Bennington in that mix? He's right up there. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, there's a part of me that really likes this kid a lot. Uh but there oh, is I do too. There, there is a line, right? Yeah, and you know what? Um part I like about him is he crosses the line and then drags everybody into it. You got no choice and you got to love that. And that, that is so much like Eddie, like Eddie would just cross the line. And the next thing you know, you were in this bloody battle and he started it and, and you, you end up, you love him. And to me, Binner is a great teammate uh, that players love him. They know he's got a fuse and when it gets lit, then everybody's got to hang on for dear life because you're going to get dragged into it whether you like it or not. And I, I, I just think you have to be so impressed with his competitiveness. And, you know, you, you go as a coach, you say, now, listen, Benner, you got to cut that out. But when you close the door, you're smiling. And, and that's just who he is. He's a really highly competitive guy that's a, that's a, a really good goalie in, in a game where, you know what it's like, Nick, right now, size matters in the net. And he's not the biggest guy, but he's really ultra competitive and never quits on a shot. And I think that becomes contagious. Is personality important in a team? You know, like, do you need to have some characters like that? I feel like some teams today lack that a little bit. And some guys that just, I don't know, they don't bring their teammates into the fight with a little bit of their own flair. I, you know what, Justin, I, I think that whole element of a game I wish was back, you know, where you, you, you didn't like another player. Like, yeah. we don't talk enough about no, the guys we don't like, you know, and and the personalities. You know, you yeah. go back and the, every team had guys like that. Like, you know, the fear of Darian Hatcher going just off and who knows what would happen. That's an element that makes you really nervous. Like, if you're playing against, like, for me, for us uh, in the West, it was always Kevin Bieksa because he mm -hmm. was this wild card. I said to the players one day, I don't even know if the ex can say skate backwards because he just attacks us all the time. <laughs> and, and you've got to circle his, his, his number and his name, because if, if you fall asleep when he's on the ice, he's going to step up and kill you. And those type of conversations, you know, towards the end, especially you, you weren't having those. Everybody was playing the game in a normal fashion fashion, but the wild card guys, they were effective. And, you know, Bexa was really, effective in that game very similar to the way Chelios played 